Hello. How are you today? Are you ready for another journey to a profit's reward? I sense that maybe it's time to get to a rest stop. You know, we often need those coffee breaks and those restroom breaks and it's time for us to look for a rest stop on our map. You know, when we get tired, we get a little cranky and irritable and we don't behave like our normal selves. So let's do it. Let's get to a rest stop. Let's check our map. Hmm. Okay, I do, I do see that there is a rest stop where we can go. It's Ezekiel 37, verses 1 through 5. And this is what it says. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of dry bones. And he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, you know. Again, he said to me, Prophesy to these bones. And say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these dry bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. As we rest, we take a little side trip to a rest stop. The Lord desires to breathe into us, to awaken us, to revive us, to refresh us. You know, when we rest in him. Here's another note actually on our map at the rest stop. Let's see what it says. It's Ezekiel 37, 9 through 10. It says, Also, he said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath. Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. We always want to remember that we are in a covenant with our God, and that's not just any kind of relationship. It's a covenant relationship. And his eye is upon us. He's watching over us. He sends angel messengers to us that do spiritual warfare just to get to us. And they do spiritual warfare for us on our behalf as well. And he, in addition to all that, sends us manna provision from his hand. And we have all of that because we're in a covenant with him. So because we're in a covenant with him, even though we're in this pandemic, 
even though there's death and sickness all around us and the economy is so on a on on just a, a roller coaster ride and all the headlines just seem to be bad news and TV media and on and on the list goes of this pandemic global mess. We can cry out to our God in the midst of this. And I think this rest stop is a good time and place to do it. So how about we just take this time and pause right now and cry out to our God together. Father in heaven, as we have seen on our map today, we come together and we prophesy to the breath. We prophesy to the breath to come from the four winds and breathe on us your slain ones in this time of pandemic. Breathe on us, O breath of God. Breathe life into us. Breathe awakening and revival into us. Breathe healing into our nostrils and nasal passages and bronchial passages and lung cavities. Breathe healing into our mouths and throats. Breathe healing into our slain bodies. Bring, breathe healing into our exhausted bodies. Breathe on us. Come from the four winds and breathe and blow away the spirit of fear that has been holding us captive. Blow away the spirit of Jezebel that has been causing us so much division around the globe. Breathe away that fierceness, oppression of Pharaoh that has been trying to control us. Breathe away this plague out of our midst. Come, O oh breath from the four winds, and breathe upon us and raise us up as your exceedingly great army, the army of God who bears witness of him. The army of God who is the bearers of peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill to all men. Come, O breath, from the four winds and breathe on us. In the blessed redeeming name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray and we thank you and we welcome you. Amen. Until next time, stay on the righteous path.